Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch how to get and set variables using scripts in Postman. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and step number one is we will go to any request and go to the test section of the request and there we will write or add our scripts to get and set variables. So I'm on my Postman. Now I have opened my Postman on the browser. If you like, you can continue on the browser or you can also uh, open your Postman on your desktop or on your system. We have learned all this in the earlier sessions. So I'm in my workspace and here I have created this collection demo APIs where I have some API requests. So I will go to this API request get user list and here uh, I will go to the test section. So here I can add the scripts. I can also add the scripts in the pre-request script section or if you like you can go to the collection uh, and here at the collection level we again have pre-request and test script section. So we can add the scripts at any of the any of these locations. Uh, we know that the pre-request scripts will get executed before running the requests and the test scripts gets executed after running the request. So based on wherever we want to put, we can put our requests or put our scripts. As of now, I'm going to the request and going to the test section. And just for this demo, I will add some scripts here. And here, let us start with the set variables with scripts or look at the variables or look at the scripts that will set the variables. Now we know we can create variables at different locations or different levels. If you want to create a variable at a global level, we will say pm.globals.set and then give the variable key and value. So I will say, let's say pm. You can also see as you start typing, you will see these auto suggestions. And I will say pm.globals.set set and then in the brackets I will give the variable name let us say that I will say name here and comma and I will give the value so let us say I will say rather forward and you can also use double quotes here or single quotes here and at the end you can use a semicolon even if you do not give a semicolon it will work but it's a good practice it uh, says that this is the end of line so I have done this and I will save and I will run. I will click on send and now after sending, if you go to the global variables, I can click on this I icon here and you can see in the global variables, a variable is created called name and its value is Rutherford. So we can do like this. Uh, also, if you want to print anything on this on the console, you can say console.log. This is JavaScript that we are using here. And then I can say here, let us say hello world. And I will save and run. And to see the output, I can go to the Postman console. You can see there is a console here. You can click here and it will open the console. You can also see the earlier uh, consoles. I will clear everything and I will say send and you will see the output on the console as well so you can see here on the console it is printing hello world we can also see our request details that got executed but i will collapse this we are more interested in looking at the console output so as of now this script can be used to create a variable at a global level now if you want to create a variable at a collection level you can say pm dot collection variables dot set so i can say here pm dot collection variables I'm getting auto suggestion as well and you can also go to your settings here and make sure that you have this uh, variable autocomplete on so when we try to get the variables it will give us the variable names variable autocomplete so make sure this is on and I will say pm dot collection variables dot set and here I can say name you can use any variable name and then give the value. So let us say I'm saying Ramanujan and save. I'll clear the console and send. So this must have set the variable name with the value Ramanujan at the collection level. So if I go to my collection and check the variables, you can see 
this is set the url variable was there already i will also show you how to get the variables or how to refer the variables as of now we are setting the variables so this is done and this is working fine now if you want to create a variable at an environment level using the scripts we say pm.environment.set so here i will say pm.environment.set and i will again use the same variable name and i will give the value newton and save and send now this time let us see the output i will clear the console and let us send it and here you can see here if i go to the environment or if i go to this i icon at the environment there is no variable set so you can see there is no variable set and that is that uh, the, that is because we have not yet created any environment and also not have selected any environment from here so we will first have to create an environment so i will click on add i will have a separate session on environments but just for now i am going to create an environment called let us say qa i have created a qa environment and now i will select the qa environment from this environment drop down here and now i will go back and now i will run the script again and let us see what happens this time if i now check my environment and you can see the variable is created under the environment so this is how we can create a variable at environment level and now if you want to create a variable at local level that is the script level or the request level wherever you are running the script from you can say pm.variables.set so i can say pm.variables.set and i can give some name here let us say a uh, name is edison and save and run so this is all set we are not getting any errors in the console so all this is working fine so this is how we can set the variables now if you want to get the variables at a global level we will say pm.globals.get so let me do that so this is for setting the variables let me also say create a comment setting variables and now i will say here getting variables so i will say pm dot globals dot get now in this case i will also have to give the name of the variable that i want to get so i am saying pm dot globals dot get and the name of the variable is name so i will save and run let us see the console so everything is fine now just in case you want to uh, print it on the console you can say console dot log and just put this in a bracket of console.log and I will say send and you will see this time it is also printing the value of that variable or the other way is I can first uh, put this in a variable I will say let variable value equals pm.globals.get and then I will print this variable i will say console dot log and i'll just print this variable values or i should say variable value here and save i'll clear the console and run it and you can see here i am getting the value on the console so this is for getting a global variable then for collection variable i will say pm dot collection variables dot get and again i will give the variable name so i'll say name and save and run the request and everything is fine so this will access or refer the collection variable and similarly for environment we say pm dot environment and then for a local variable we say pm dot variables dot get however this particular script can be used to access variable at any level or any scope based on the priority i hope you uh, remember the priority we have discussed in the earlier session so 
the first priority is local variable then comes data variable then we have environment then we have collection and then we have global so let us say if i say pm dot variables dot get and i say name and if there is a local variable uh, available by the name name here then it will access that or it will get that otherwise it will access a data variable or if we have a name variable at an environment level it will do it will get that so based on this priority it will work so let us try this uh, let's say I will say pm dot variables dot get and I am saying name and I will also print this so I will say console dot log I want to print this so let us see what is the value we get so here I will save and run and here you can see I am getting the value addition here and if you see the value addition we have set here at a local variable now let's say if I just remove this or if I change this local variable from name to name one and now let us see what is the value it will fetch I will save and send again and this time you can see it is getting the value Newton and if I see Newton it was set at the environment level so this is how it will work it will first go to local data environment collection and global so this is how you can use the scripts to get the variables now if you want to remove or unset any variable you can just say pm and the uh, level let's say environment and then say unset and use the variable name so let's say if I say pm dot environment dot unset and I can give the variable name let us say name and if I save and run this so this is done if I go and check the environment you can see there is no variable now there in the environment so this is how we can remove the variables and we have already seen this if you want to print a variable you can use console.log and to print anything on the screen we can use console.log statements so this is how we can get and set variables you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you you can put it on your desktop or uh, take it on your mobile and go through it a couple of times so you will always remember how to get and set variables using scripts in postman i hope this was very useful and very interesting i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning